Microphone check, one, two, what is this? The five-foot assassin with the roughneck business. I float like gravity, never had a cavity. Got more friends than Sonny has family. Ain't no need to put blame in the game. There's no shame in your lame. I don't know the rest of the words. All right. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> what All right, got? let's start. <laughs> Tales of Macaque podcast, here with Sonny Jaj, mm. the legendary Sonny Jaj. What's going on, my brother? Hello, Marshall. Nice to meet you in your <laughs> humble abode, which is your parents. <laughs> my parents' humble abode. Hopefully this video is working. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, we are sitting here at my parents' house, drinking tea in the backyard. You just stopped by the house. Spontaneous podcast. Never been done in the history of Tales of Macaque podcast. This is true. This is very true. Yeah, it's monumental, man. All right. What concoction have you have um, brewed up for us? This is a poor tea. Show poor. Okay. Show means it's cooked. <laughs> It's oh, also wow. fermented. It's got live cultures in it, which mm. is all the rave now, man. That's like kefir and kombucha. That's all they talk about. Kombucha. It's living. Are you a fan of kombucha? Big fan. What is in kombucha that you're a fan of? Because I have no idea. Oh, well, it's I, like a, I, I don't know what the hype is. Oh, it's no like idea. um, it's a living thing, right? Like, so if you see the way it's made, is you get like this alien-looking thing. Uh -huh. It's a. It's called a mother. It's freaky. A uh -huh. scoby mother, and then you brew tea and put it in that and it ferments with fruit and so the kind of whole point is that you're getting something alive in your I stomach because there's a lot of gut bacteria and stuff right okay so it goes in there and huh. helps out and it just tastes so weird man it's such an interesting thing where like even the same person can't make the same thing twice really like realistically in a home situation it's kind of like beer in that way where like if you have home guru it's always like a, a, an experiment it's always a gamble okay so my aunt she started making it I'm like this could be terrible <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't, but you never know, I right? Know. It could go so terribly. It could go with nine percent alcohol. It could just it, it just fluctuates. It's a weird thing. It's like an alien. It can go to nine percent alcohol. Nine percent alcohol. Oh my god! Yeah, and I know that because my landlord, when we lived in Ocean Beach, he said it to me like this. He's like, "Yeah, I think there's termites in the." Um, but yeah, I made this kombucha. It was like nine percent. <laughs> like, wait, what? What <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Uh, my, my mom's always afraid when I like drink kombucha <laughs> and drive. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah she's yeah. afraid. She's like, "Sunny, make sure you haven't drank kombucha yet." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before you leave the house, and I'm, like, mom is less than a shot, less than a quarter of a shot in each one. Yeah, and that's kind of, that's ones. kind of an issue, man. One you buy in the store, if there's zero alcohol in it, it means it's pasteurized, which means they kill all of the um, bacteria you want. Really. Which is why anytime I think of kombucha, I think of it homemade. Okay. Um, I've never bought it in the store. It doesn't make sense to me. But that's that's all could. that makes sense to me. <laughs> like Whole Foods, Whole Foods cam equals kombucha. Okay, <laughs> I've never been to Whole Foods. Well, everyone who goes to Whole Foods, uh, they have kombucha in their grocery basket. Oh, everyone. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is that is Whole Foods? Is that the place where I should go to meet the bitches? No, it's the place where you want if you, you go if you want to be trendy. Are you trendy? Uh, I don't think so. If you drink kombucha, you're trendy. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's homemade. <laughs> No, but, but really, am, it's, uh, it's, it's like a fad, kombucha. Yeah. It's a fad in, like, uh, the Whole Foods market. And, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> For good reason, man. It's, it's healthy, a good it's fad. weird, it's cool. Um, but, yeah, I guess I can go Whole Foods now that I'm a rich working man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got bargain deals. Five days into my career. You can get, two, can, uh, you can get like, two bottles of water for ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save time and money. <laughs> uh, All yeah. right, well, thanks for talking me into that. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. But dude, I'm fucking exhausted, man. It's my first. We're recording this on a Friday night. It's like I don't know, seven thirty, eight o'clock. Yeah, Marshall had his first uh, real, real world job. Yeah, it's, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's at Huntington Beach, just by like the nice <laughs> beach that in Southern California that I've never seen. Like, yeah, such a hard life. <laughs> such a hard life he lives. You know, living by living Costa Mesa right next to Newport, <laughs> breathing in the fresh Newport air. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, honestly. Yeah, it's a rough life. Sitting here in my backyard. I mostly hang out in this backyard now. It's my life. Really? I get home from work. I do yoga right there. When you texted me, I was like, yeah, I'm just blazing and stretching. I literally was, man. I was smoking this joint right here. Yeah. Sitting right there, stretching. Really? Yeah. <laughs> right when I texted you. Wow. Yeah. And so that's kind of a cool thing I've been doing. Like, just this week, I, I went up to my dad. I was like, Dad, like, I live here now. We're on the same schedule. Yeah. I'm not going to be sneaking behind your back. I'm going to go to the backyard and smoke a joint. Nice, and he, dude. He, he wasn't, like, stoked or anything, but he's like... <laughs> And we kind of like talked about weed in general. Yeah, I, I mean, just did it. <laughs> Wait, what's their take on it? All right. Um, it? My my dad quit like 
a long time ago. Okay. And my mom's never done it. Okay. That's kind of how my parents are, except my dad never started it. He just tried never? it. He tried a couple of times and he just freaked out. Yeah. Yeah. Panic. Not for yeah. Not for him. Mom oh. just thinks weed is like meth or heroin. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. which is true. It is true. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually she new, has a point. Yeah. There's new studies. She's seen the studies. <laughs> She's done the research. <laughs> she did the research. <laughs> Yeah, man. But before we start recording, uh, you're asking about um, the the Zen retreat I did like two weeks ago. Yes. Yeah, and you, you're a meditating guy, yeah. Yes, I'm starting to do it. I mean, I do it like once. I like legitimately do it once a week at like a center, like yeah. a yoga center. But that's the only time I get like good meditation. Otherwise, it's hard to do it alone, unless I'm unless it's like first thing in the morning, which is rare. Then it's easier to go into meditation yeah, but that's a the my go-to my, my morning routine is i wake up and i stretch uh -huh. and then meditate 20 minutes why do you and stretch the, uh because my body hurts oh. from like jujitsu and stuff oh shit okay yeah, yeah yeah and it's like um meditation and you're sitting down the idea is to get your your spine as straight as possible and so okay. what you do that is the best way is full lotus a lot of people can't do that uh -huh. so from there it's half lotus um but the whole point is to get the spine straight. So it's easier to do that if you're loosened. Okay. Which they say is the whole reason yoga became popular. is to loosen the body so you can sit down for meditation. They go hand in hand. Yeah. I thought, I thought the whole point is to relax. doesn't matter mm -hmm. how you're sitting. It's to just keep your mind at ease. And no, you're thinking <clears> of sleeping. <throat> no, I'm thinking of like... <laughs> <laughs> like the, the meditation that I do, is, it doesn't matter how you're sitting. Mm -hmm. As long as your, your mind is in check and you're fo like focused on what you're thinking rather than how your body is like shaped you like the whole goal for us is to feel comfortable how you're sitting like if i stand like sit up straight obviously i'll probably feel more attentive like yeah. i'll stay awake probably more um like easier but uh that's a big part of it yeah but um we we do like we just sit however you want and meditate yeah. for 15 minutes <laughs> right and so that's why like meditation isn't really like a good word because it's uh -huh. very vague it's kind of like the word exercise yeah you're like hey, i'm gonna go exercise like the fuck does that mean okay you yeah, know so that's why i was about to ask you like how do you meditate but i don't really want to i don't really care so yeah <laughs> <laughs> but like the, there's different styles so yeah. zen has its own style called yeah, zazen which is just sitting so okay. it translates as just sitting okay and so i sit down for 20 minutes uh spine straight counting my breaths that's the way I do it. You count your breaths. Yeah, up to ten. It's not like guided meditation where someone no, like you're no. listening to something. In no, the no, no. Zen's all by yourself. Really? Okay. Yeah, hmm. yeah. That's why it's uh, for samurai, like myself. I see. <laughs> I see. That's yeah, way man. different. <laughs> so I did that two weeks ago, and then last week I went to Joshua Tree with my buddy Rex. Uh huh. And that was awesome. And now I work in an office. <laughs> Wait, I went to Joshua Tree. <laughs> yeah. For uh, for vacation. Um, I mean, I guess so, for life. <laughs> like we went out there, like, for three nights. The first night, we stayed in Joshua Tree, yeah. like, in a campsite. And the next two nights, we drove, like, across the street. It's just uh -huh. desert. And it's just open camp land, as long yeah. as it's not private property. And so we went off-roading in my Hyundai. And, like... Oh, you took the Hyundai. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> and we found, like, a spot that was not private property. Pitched a tent. Um, made, like, a awesome campfire in these rocks really just hung out for two days wow yeah it was unique did you guys cuddle um i tried right. but rex he didn't bring a condom so uh <laughs> we thought we shouldn't even rex. cuddle yeah fucking rex do you know rex no. doesn't sound like you know rex no okay but oh rex <laughs> <laughs> well if you want to get to know him he's on the last two episodes of this podcast <laughs> okay you get to know him pretty well but then we right, recorded two we recorded a podcast out there, and it's so, like, rambly. <laughs> like, it was like, we were, obviously, we were smoking weed all day. <laughs> they were sitting around the campfire, like, at, like, it was dark, so, I don't know, 8 o'clock. Yeah. It was so ridiculous. <laughs> like, I imagine it's the hardest podcast to listen to. How but, long, how long know, did we go for? Happen. 45 minutes. Oh, okay. And it kind of flew by. Like, that's how all the podcasts have gone so far. Good. Good. Who, who have, who's been on the show so far? Oh, my God. Ask me questions you could Google. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew's been on twice Joey's been on um, My sensei from the Zen place Three Treasures Zen Community The sensei that she was my professor in college as well My philosophy oh. professor nice. <coughs> Excuse me And then um, you know the Mad Monk You down there Mad Monk tea shop Yeah I went to that tea shop Yeah I recorded one with Taylor Dry the owner Nice 
I think I, I think I, I'll recognize that guy if I see him. Yeah, he was at out. Collins a lot, right? He's Collins' a good friend. Um, you probably think of Nico. Okay. Taylor's married. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't hang out as much. <coughs> Never mind. Yeah, maybe you know. I don't know. I'll leave that there for you. Right. Um, yeah, bro. You came here with the jokes or what? You told me you don't want to be on the podcast because you have Wait, first, to say. first of all, you didn't tell me about your meditation. <laughs> what do you, you want to you know? You told me you're going to tell me your week long. Uh, and your, uh, why you, did you meditate for a week long? Oh, um, I don't know. That's like the traditional amount of time. Like in Zen, it's called a session. That's the official name. Uh-huh. Session is for last a week. Um, I don't know why it's only a week. But I, I don't know. It, it makes sense. And. Um, I mean, what so made it was you, eight hours a day just sitting there meditating. What made you want to do that? Uh, it's my third time I've done it. <laughs> All right. And what just every, it? every time, it's like, I've done it only in transitionary times in my life. Mm-hmm. So the first time, I was in Hong Kong, and I did it right before I moved to Taiwan. Oh, I see. And then the last time I did it before this was in August, right before I moved down to San Diego from Taiwan. Okay. And then this time was right before I started this job. And each time, it's, it's like a good time to like sit down and just like... Obviously, the point is you're not trying to think, yeah. but that's kind of the first joke of meditation is, like, you can't not think. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, inevitably, I planned uh-huh. out my whole, like, thing. I, I went through all my fears about this job. Uh-huh. It's, like, all the worst-case scenarios. That's yeah. the way my mind works. I, I assume everyone's does. I don't yeah. really know. And um, it's, it's really cool, man. Like, when you're there, you, you're up there, you talk to the teachers... And they kind of, like, ask me what's going on, and they give me like, some really good advice for, like, taking this job and, like, ways to think about it. Yeah. And it's just really good, like, perspective shifting. Okay. That's kind of what it, the whole point of it. Like, if something's bothering you, it's mm-hmm. your fault, right? Right. That's kind of, like, the way I think about it. Okay. If something's bothering me, it's because my mentality is off. Like, this right. could be a good situation, but I'm thinking about it wrong. So if okay. I'm sitting there in that office, like, fuck this place, man. I just want to go home. Yeah. I just want to... That's my mind's in the future. It's making shit up. It's going off on its own. So the Zen way to deal with that is you go back to your breath and think, look around and be like, nothing's bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. And that, that's kind of the whole point of it. Like once you get back to the to the moment, as um, any new age spiritualist will tell you about, any guy who's ever done acid will t- tell you about the moment. Uh-huh. And so that, that's what it boils down to. That's why you count gotcha. your breath. Just come down, focus now. Nothing's bad now. For a week. How do you do it? I lasted a whole week. How how does it work? Like, you do it for hours at a time? Yeah, in two-hour segments. Oh, my God. So, but it's kind of broken up. Like, you get up and walk around every half hour. Um, But, yeah, eight hours a day just meditating. You wake up really early in the morning, meditate, eat breakfast, meditate. I can't imagine you're sitting there for eight hours. It's brutal, man. (laughs) Everyone's back hurts. Everyone's knees (laughs) <laughs> eight hours a day. eight hours yeah oh my god but yeah keep in mind man like, there's I nothing else that. to do like you're not like the phones are off the TV's covered um, they even told me not to read cause really? um, yeah yeah it was really cool the way she explained it she mapped out like the brain waves you know about the different brain waves maybe you where, you know, where did you alpha, beta, theta, delta yeah I and she's just that. saying like when you read it's towards the top which I think is beta I think beta is reading okay. and she and but insights and like deep insights into yourself happen at theta and so when you're meditating that's what you go into that's why you have okay. so many epiphanies you know usually theta happens when you're in the shower right. when you're driving doing something just menial that like but you know you're, you're not thinking about anything else mm-hmm. like that's why it's shower thoughts is like okay. a coin term and so the point of meditation is to lock into that range I see and that's when you have like I mean, I'm sure you've experienced... Everyone's experienced these in some way or another, but those moments where you just go, ah, oh, fuck, I should have thought of that earlier. You uh-huh. know what I mean? There's any, oh, yeah. anything. Like, when you're thinking about like, a decision in the future, uh-huh. it's like, oh, obviously. Yeah. And so yeah, that's the whole point of it. Like, getting those moments... Um, or facilitating those moments. Okay, I see. Yeah. Does it help you with, like, anger? Um, yeah, it helps me. That's the reason, main reason I did it. Yeah. It makes me, like, not as angry about things as I normally would when I wake up in the morning <laughs> wake up angry <laughs> wake up angry <laughs> <laughs> what's what's making you so angry I don't know don't ask me these questions <laughs> <laughs> you're making me you're making me angry <laughs> <laughs> these questions make you angry <laughs> alright yeah. fair enough anyways so you prepared some questions for me let's hear them man <sighs> so what are you wearing <laughs> I'm wearing a t-shirt uh, with a painting by Wuda 
who owns a cult in Taiwan that I very much enjoy. Who are you, Eric? Bodhidharma <laughs> is uh, the name of this guy. He's the founder of Zen, Tea, and uh, Kung Fu. And that's how China does it. They don't go by history. They're just kind of like, eh, same guy. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then you go back to all of them. Just attribute it. They, they they go by like eras, right? Yeah. And so Bodhi really Dharma years. came in and like okay. came in, came to China when he was eighty, and it was like okay. saw these monks and was like, yeah, you guys should learn some kung fu. <laughs> so he taught him kung fu, and then the the reason he's the founder at Tea is he was trying to become enlightened, and he was sitting under this tree meditating, and he fell asleep, and he got so upset, he stood up and ripped off his eyelid uh-huh. and threw it in the ground, and out came the exact tea we're drinking right now. This tea. Poor tea. Poor. Yeah, he was in the Yunnan region of China because he walked there from India. Damn, and that's for his life fucking story. No, you asked me he's on my shirt. What do you, what did you <laughs> say? <laughs> I said, who are you wearing? I mean, like, the brand. <laughs> I think Hanes. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's like a screen printed shirt. <laughs> All right, so you're wearing Hanes. Nice. I was going to wear Hanes today. Yeah, you should have, man. It would have been a better Hurley. podcast. I chose Hurley. would have been a better podcast. <clears throat> Yeah, anyways, I bought this uh, new drone. <laughs> <laughs> We're spying on ladies. Yeah, I bought this new drone. It's sick. <laughs> yeah? What are you doing with it? Yeah, so I'm starting to do, like, real estate with it and whatnot. And I'm doing video editing. And <clears throat> I was going to show you the video. Can't show you the video right now. Why not? Because we're on a podcast. Supposedly. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to show you the video. But I'll show you in a second. Okay. A later. I'm very excited. Yeah, I bought that, and I made a, my first one a couple of days ago. Went up, turned out pretty well. My client's really happy. Yeah. yeah. It looks sick. It's dope. Yeah. And then, let's see what else. There's lid. Oh, yeah, I told you my friend almost died in a motorcycle accident. Yeah. <laughs> That's not really funny. But... It's hilarious. Well, it was a funny transition. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm doing all these great things. I don't know, my friend died. Yeah, yeah. So, my friend almost <laughs> died today. Our... No, yesterday in the motorcycle accident, he was merging lanes 90 miles per hour. I already told you the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he... Wait, uh, where was he, though? He was on... He like was a... on PCH. Oh. Yeah, PCH. <laughs> going, he said he normally goes 130, 130 <laughs> on that road. So this is bound to happen to this kid. Jesus Christ. And he uh, <clears throat> was merging into a lane and the car, you know, it wasn't the car's fault. He's going. He was going 90 at the time. And he hit the car and... He, his motorcycle went flinging up in the air like 20 feet and he goes his, it goes flying over 300 feet in front of him and you can see his body on a video there's a video of it you see his body like twirling in circles before he hits the ground is the video only his body? the video is very very no it's mostly the motorcycle it's very faint video oh, okay it showed up in the LA Times and they said it was a 28 year old kid who wanted to kill himself <laughs> That's what they, they said. said. They said he, he said wanted like, a, by choice. They said when they found the sus or the suspect, that's what they like, called him because they thought it was like you know he was trying to do it intentionally. They said he was trying to kill himself and all this kind of stuff, and it's not true at all. It's <laughs> not true. charge him with suicide. It's not true at all. And they refused to give him like too many painkillers because they're afraid that he's going to overdose Whoa. himself. Whoa. Yeah, they only gave him eight, <laughs> eight like mild, mild Vicodins. Like the mildest you get. And I don't know this guy very well, but I'm guessing he has more Vicodins close by. He doesn't. No? No. He's not the guy? No, he just does dabs. He just judges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a good kid. Yeah, he's a good he kid. He just does dabs. Yeah, he just dabs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was trying yeah. to explain dabs to my dad, mm-hmm. and he's like, like, what do you mean they blowtorch it? Like, yeah, they, you blowtorch the metal part of the bong? He's yeah. Like, what the fuck? Cause he's doing, he was smoking hash oil like years ago, but in like a crack pipe, oh. like you know, like, like free basing, like <laughs> it's like a bulbous. So his his way was gnarlier. <laughs> um, looked gnarlier. It looks like more. I don't know. They're both pretty gnarly. It's more cracky. It's not like in a bong or anything. It's like a scientific. Okay. Dabs look pretty scientific. Yeah, usually when you do a dab, it's out of a piece, like a yeah, nice, yeah, nicer yeah. piece, not a crack pipe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But you can do it without a crack pipe. That's yeah. the beauty. Yes. yes. And really, that's the point. All right, so Sonny. <laughs> really, that's the point? That's the point. So right. Sonny, you got to tell some jokes now. <clears throat> Why do I have to tell you jokes? Because I invited you to my podcast. All right. I already asked you what you're wearing. It's true. That's pretty funny. All right. We can do that again if you like. <laughs> so. 
Um, think of a joke. I can't say any jokes. Why? I don't do that. I've changed. You, <laughs> you used to. You used to tell me the best jokes. <clears throat> yeah? Name, name one. Name one, I dare you. All right, Sonny, I'll tell you a story <clears throat> instead. All right. So one time, we went to go see Jim Norton. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so yesterday, I went to the mall, and I bought some stuff. All right. And, that's about, and then that's about it. No, that's a better story than I was going to tell. <laughs> 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 oh, so I saw Joey Diaz. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a similar story to Jim Norton. How was that, man? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it was so fucking funny. <coughs> All the comedians were sitting right behind us mm. where we were sitting. And Joey Diaz, when he was done, like, before his turn, he was sitting behind us, too. It was sick. It was, like, funny to hear him. Wait, where, where were you? It was at the uh, Bray Improv. Nice, dude. That's sick. Yeah, that was when I was in Joshua Tree. That's when I got the text. Yep, like, ah. and I made a mistake and got too drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, forgot over half the jokes. <laughs> so, that's how it goes, man. So yeah, I just can't get too drunk. That's I, like what that's I thought my I learned with comedy shows. I thought I learned from Jim Norton, but at I, comedy <laughs> shows, man, because you have to get drinks there, right? Like it, it's forced. Yep. It gets two drink minimums almost always. Yep. And then I don't know. I always smoke before I go to comedy shows too. Yeah, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I didn't smoke. I was like. My <laughs> my my meth- like methodology was only gonna drink a little bit, not gonna smoke at all because I'm gonna forget stuff. Yeah, end up drinking too much, but not smoking at all. Forgot all of it. Forgot like seventy five percent of it at least. Yeah. Okay. So here's what <laughs> I, it was I, funny. at Jim Norton. I I was sober at Jim Norton. Yeah. You were very drunk. Yeah. My cousin and his girlfriend were drinking. Uh, it's hard to say how drunk they were, but the funniest thing that I've seen <laughs> in a while is, oh uh, well, first of all, you just wouldn't shut up. You're oh, talking yeah. the whole show. Oh, that's the worst. But there was one moment where it was good. The rest of the time was really annoying. But one time, <laughs> um, Jim Norton, he was talking about Bill Cosby. And he's like, I-, I tend to believe that Bill Cosby did it. You know, I don't really know, but I think he did. Because, like, have you ever known a 65-year-old woman to lie about sexual abuse? Uh-huh. And you shouted, yes! <laughs> and, yeah, like, really? the whole show just stopped. Oh, they, God. That, that was rhetorical. <laughs> <laughs> But it was so well timed. Oh, God. Oh, so you don't remember that? I don't remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I remember the Bill Cosby joke. Yeah, I mean, I think that was it. You didn't yeah. really talk about it much. Yeah. yeah well, well, well done, man. Well, great. So maybe that happened again to Joey Diaz? <laughs> no, that didn't happen. My friend said that didn't happen. Yeah, he said that. <laughs> they, said it wasn't, they said it wasn't that bad. It was just funny. That was like, really drunk. Talking. They didn't say I was talking. Just being noisy. Yeah. Yeah, because you have bad friends. That's yeah, true. That's honest as I am. That's true. That's true. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Excuse me? Babe. What? <laughs> <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Is this our first fight? Yeah. Sonny, how old are you when you lost your virginity? Uh, I never did. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's your lucky <sighs> night. Oh, we dude. We got this nice camera. We got this audio equipment. We have this huge audience listening to us online. Condoms? Huge audience. How many people you got so far? Uh, close to a million, I think. Really? Yeah. Dude. Across six continents. Yeah, that's like almost two million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good math. Thanks, Sonny. <laughs> You're welcome. That's why I'm here. All right, but seriously, why are you here? I don't know. You invited me over to eat dinner, and like, <laughs> I get force-fed. <laughs> the whitest meal on I earth. I get force-fed. That the was most. the whitest meal I've ever seen. Yes. Like uh, we, we're, I, I was raised in a white family. Oh yeah, I'm brown. <laughs> I'm brown. <clears throat> I pe- know. For people who can't see the video. We overcompensated by feeding you egg salad sandwich. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> for dinner. It's and ridiculous. Then, and then dressing. Indians don't use dressing. Really? Yeah. We just use like... How do you use salad? Uh, we like pickle it. We put it in pickle. <laughs> <laughs> we pickle them and then we just eat it. And then it ferments. Mm. That's how we eat our salads. Well, if you tell... No, here's an English lesson for you. That is how we salad. That is how we salad? How? <laughs> <laughs> how do you salad? How I salad by adding dressing to the top of green salad. Oh, gross. How do you salad? The only way I salad is pickle it or mix it in a shake. Oh, I do that as well. Do you? Well, I, no, I had to stop because I was too farty, and now I work in an office. Oh, And so I was yeah. literally worried. Like, I, I, yeah. I, I've, I've eaten a lot worse this week because prior I was eating, like, really healthy, like, a lot of eggs and avocado. Uh-huh. And, like, I don't know what was making me fart, but it was brutal. Yeah, see, it, it doesn't make me fart. It just makes me 
I drink in the morning for breakfast. Yeah. A kale shake. I put like broccoli, like blueberries, all this kind of stuff in it. Healthy stuff. But protein I get powder. <clears throat> no protein powder. Oh. I don't. Eat, I don't bother with that stuff anymore. I just stopped using it. Really? Yeah. I'm just like <laughs> I feel as good or if not better not drinking it as opposed to drinking protein powder. Weird. So I just stopped using it. But <clears throat> um, I have three shits. Three shits I do after that. Yeah. Shake. Yeah. Three shits. Like every spaced out an hour. An hour, an hour. Really? Like and, clockwork? <clears throat> yeah. And then I feel great after, though. Mm. But that happens with those shakes every time, every morning. Hey, maybe we'll go back to that. Because I doing oatmeal this week. Okay. Like a poor you, man. You could put like oats in your... Amish. You put oats in your shake. Yeah, grind up oats. That's crazy, bro. Steel cut. Steel cut is the best. That's crazy, bro. It is pretty crazy. That's crazy, man. All right, so Sonny, you gonna tell us some jokes now, or what? If you say that one more time, <laughs> <laughs> if you say that one more time, I'm gonna tell you a joke. <clears throat> so Sonny, who are you wearing? Patagonia. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of Patagonia? Yeah, they got penguins down there. Yeah, um, it's sick, but it actually keeps you super warm, and even though it's like really thin material, it keeps you really warm. Go on. <clears throat> so it has a zipper in the front. <laughs> It has two pockets. <laughs> One pocket I put my right hand in, <laughs> and the other pocket just chills. I just chill, chill with it. <laughs> Go on. Anyways, um, so what's up with your life, Marshall? Bro, we've been over this. <laughs> I work in an office and I'm tired. <clears throat> so what I do you try do? Try to go to jujitsu. So what, what have you done in your office? That's like, what's the most like productive thing that you've done or they, fun thing? They give me a paper and I type a number from the paper to the screen. And then what? That's what I do. <laughs> then I get the next paper and I type a number from it into the screen. Dare I ask? And then what? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I do. Well, no. For this morning, for four hours, I mailed letters. <sighs> Shit. Literally ripped a paper from here, put it in the envelope. Why don't you just keep doing Uber? I mean, it's too late now. Like, what do you mean? Like, quit this job after a week? Then you can talk to people and like, uh, yeah. give them rides, <laughs> and you get paid well. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I, I just always quit early on Uber. Really? Okay. Yeah, like I do it for like three hours. <laughs> it's like, ah, I don't need to do this all day. Isn't it if you, work over, you, work, if you work over 25 hours, you get paid like, uh, like 75%, right? No. I thought that's true. No. Oh. I mean, they, they've done a lot of schemes in the past like to, to incentivize. Like when I was, I, I drove for like five months. Yeah. And they changed it like four times. Like really? completely, yeah. So I think they, it, as a company, they evolve a lot. Okay. So maybe they used to do that bullshit thing you just told me. That's not bullshit. But when I, when I had that absolutely made up. Um, <laughs> anyway. But no, I really like doing Uber, but I, I yeah. just don't want to do it more. Like, okay. it was always, like, a, like a short-term thing. Oh, yeah, you can just do it after work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's not what I want to do at all. After oh, work. But dude, the worst part about working is now my back is, like, terrible. Just from sitting in a chair all day. Really? Yeah, oh, it's really, like, a comfy chair. And so, like, before, I was just doing yoga all day. Like, I'd do Uber for a little bit and go uh -huh. and stretch and then, like, meditate and, like, go to jiu-jitsu <laughs> and stretch. And then, you know what I mean? There's all, like, rest activity. Yeah. And stretching and, like, active. What do you call it? Like, active resting. Uh -huh. That's probably a term. And then um, now I just don't do that, right? Like, they, <laughs> they say I can do yoga in the office, but I don't really believe them. Like, a, like a fat guy told me that. They say you can do yoga? I was like, yeah. can I do yoga right there? He's like, <laughs> You know what I mean? He said it, like, in a way that maybe Yeah, you can I'd... do yoga right there. <laughs> yeah, could you could you imagine? He's probably like, can't, you mind if I take a dump right next to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably his like, method, like, his mindset. I was like, what are you talking about? You know that Steve Martin joke where he's like, I remember a restaurant, someone says, hey, you mind if I smoke? I don't know, do you mind if I fart? <laughs> Try to quit for a couple of years, gain a lot of weight. You know, only after sex. If I fart? Yeah. But there's all things in the office like that where I'm like, oh, so I'm done. Can I just go home? And like, <laughs> uh. we, we wish. <laughs> like, what? Video, video, stop recording. Oh, why? Oh, shit. It just did. Oh, my for God. For a second. Can't reach. I'm going to take this off. Yeah, take off the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, having technical difficulties here at Tails Macaque. Um, so in the comment section, please tell me if we should hire Sonny as a technical director. All right, so it's working. <laughs> yes, we should hire Sonny. He just fixed it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That's a pretty... Um, I have a pretty face. Yeah, you have a very pretty face, which is why I'm glad we have this camera. Yeah. Um, if you don't, if the video's not working or if you're not listening to it uh, with the video, you can Google 
the word sunny and pictures of sunny jaws should pop up. Yes, they should. Because uh, my Facebook is now deleted. Really? Yeah. Is that why we're not friends? That's why. <laughs> Did you look it up? Yeah. We're still friends? <laughs> I constantly. <laughs> so I started the day. Oh, shit. I'd wake up, <clears throat> look at that, just to make sure, and then stretch and then meditate. And go to All right. Work. I was going to say, you better start your day that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know who refused to be on the podcast? Mark Enriquez. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, let's talk about it. <laughs> why? No, sketchy, man. Sketchy. No. Why? People are going to li- No. No, because people are going to look in the government and then, and then, <laughs> and then the government. <laughs> Is he worried about the government? <clears throat> no, he's like, I think he's worried about the UFOs now. Really? Because they might, they, they might be onto us, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did Mark say Mark, this? Mark, no. I'm just making fun of Mark. Oh, my God. But, uh, Hopefully Mark slandering uses. his good name. No, Mark should be on the show. I think he has some good stuff to say. For sure. I think he has some interesting stuff. Yeah, sure. you're hitting that. Oh. Here, I'll let you have the, the headphones if you can hear. I think Mark would have some interesting things to say, though. For sure, man. He's taking, like, uh, cool classes. You know, like, stuff I never learned about. I know. He's been in college for, like, eight years now. <laughs> <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. I mean, anyway. Um, yeah, he still never invited us to UCLA yet. No. Yeah. I'm just like, call I'm just like Mark, can though. we come? And then I think I asked him one time, and I stopped. I think I can that. go because he visited me in San Diego, and we had a True. great time. It's he only seemed right. tucked him in one night. When? I think it really like really brought us together. When? A couple months ago. I don't know. Really? Oh, you a never visited me, man. You blew it. I had a really cool house in San Diego. Oh, was that when you had the rent for like like ten bucks a month? No, <laughs> <laughs> or for you took Pedro or your friends. Yeah, yeah. So Pedro, um, when I came back from Asia, Pedro wanted to go to Asia to visit me, uh-huh. and I was like, "Fuck, dude, I don't think I'm going back." Because that was the original plan, right? I was just here visiting. Why did you come back? Like no reason, man. Like I just hadn't seen my family in a while, and like okay. I thought I should try something else. And I got I got hooked on the jujitsu scene in San Diego. The jujitsu oh, scene in I San see. Diego is the best in the world, and okay. so I found like I fell in love with this gym and like. I don't know. It made sense. And then it was just so easy because Pedro just wanted to leave all his stuff, like yeah. bed, desk, TV, all wow. the stuff I don't own. And <laughs> so I just moved in with a backpack like and full he's, of clothes. Yeah. And he took off to Asia at the kickboxing academy that I recommended. And he cruised around. Okay. I but, see. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a very split decision to go down there. And then a very poor decision on your end not to visit. So it was awesome. I love oh, the yeah. black guys, man. You would have loved it. What? <laughs> There's what? I lived with black guys. Oh, okay. I know, I should have went. Fuck. I wish I went. Even Mark came to visit. <clears throat> I know. And Joey. Wait, no. I, th- I thought Joey went later. Joey went like last week <laughs> or two weeks ago. I mean, San Diego's not that far, man. You can get on multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> no, to your house. Like he came to visit me. To your house when you lived there or whatever. Yeah, like two months ago, three oh. months ago. All right. Besides, Dude, when besides Joey the point. came down, we went to... A comedy show at a kombucha bar, which has got to be like one of the first times what? in history that that's that ever happened. Awesome. <laughs> a comedy show at a kombucha bar, and we split an edible, one that I've had many times. It's uh-huh. my favorite edible. It's got a picture of exhibit on it, you know, from Pit My Ride. <laughs> and um, I've eaten this so many times and always been great, but I had a little too much. And you know, with edibles, if you have just slightly too much, they can turn on you. Yeah, it was once a good night can turn into a panic attack <laughs> that happened to me front row at this comedy show in like a really small area you know it's like maybe the, the from like those posts to those posts yeah and just chairs i don't know how many people that is like 30 uh-huh. like not that many people or not that big of a space and everyone crammed in there and i was front row at the comedy show and just panicked like my heart was racing i was sweating <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm ruining it for these guys. <laughs> like, this is their big moment. These are like, struggling comedians, like, playing a kombucha oh, bar. Kombucha bar. So what, um, they have, like, extraordinary kombuchas there? Really good. Yeah. What, are they serving, like, shot glasses? Uh, no, like a pint glass. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. Get aren't aren't you only supposed to drink, like, a little... I feel like we're talking, we're talking about kombucha too much. <laughs> 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 Are you supposed to drink it in like small amounts? Um, I don't know. <coughs> I thought I don't think so. I've always had it like in pint glasses. Because every time I read the label, it says like for a bottle, it says serving is two. That means oh. you're supposed to drink like eight ounces or six ounces at a time. I don't know. I mean, I don't think they're. Really I feel like, like too much could be bad for you. I, I don't think the people like typing that are looking out for our best interest. Okay. There's not much bad. I mean, there's sugar. I guess that's why. I mean, yeah. If they want to make money, they should be like one serving. No, well, because they put two because then it looks like it's healthier. 
Like oh, only I nine grams I of sugar. See. I see. Yeah, yeah, but 68 servings. I gotcha. That's an unrealistic uh, example. So I, you don't have any jokes, man? I literally, um, I, I titled this podcast Sonny Tells Jokes. Um, I do not have any jokes for you. What about kombucha? Do you want to talk more about kombucha? Yeah, so like what flavors have you tried? Kombucha? So many. How many ounces have you drinking? In total? Total. 64. That's barely any. I know, it's also a lie. <laughs> I gotta pee really bad, man. All right, um, we're gonna take a break. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try out this recorder and go pee, and we'll come back. Sonny's gonna tell us a joke. All right, not gonna tell you any jokes. Joke. All right, not gonna tell you any jokes. Joke. All right, not gonna tell you any jokes. Joke. All right, not gonna tell you any jokes. Joke. All right. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right, begin. So I thought of a joke. Okay. What do you call a fish without an eye? Fuck, I don't know. Psh. Oh, it's <laughs> the spelling. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, right so that's a good on. original joke. So anyways, um, I bought this camera mainly because I was inspired by this person named Casey Neistat <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. And Casey Neistat, does he go for a jog? Yeah, he actually went for a run. He went for he a run? He goes for a run every morning for 14, 15 miles. Yeah? Yeah. Usually, you know, he usually does it pretty fast, but sometimes he has his off days. Yeah. <laughs> So um, but anyways, mean? I made, uh, he, he does daily vlogs. He does like what he does on a daily basis. He just records himself every day. From what, he, what he does when he wakes up in the morning to what he does when he sleeps. He makes a really cool editing of what he does and it gets millions of hits every yeah. single day. It still blows my mind. He has a video every single day. Yeah. Every single day he managed to be ahead of a company of like 20 plus employees, who knows how many. <laughs> and then he does these vlogs on the side. Yeah. And I don't understand how he, you know, does it every single day for the past like, year and a half. Because the amazing part to me is that, like, videos require a lot of, like, rendering and, like, which yeah. if you've never worked in videos, that literally just means you press render and you have to sit there. You can't work on it uh-huh. until it, it um, processes, which can be hours, right? At least in my experience. Yeah, it could be Obviously, hours. Obviously, he found a way around that, but, like, what the fuck? I mean, he yeah, could. That's why he I can't could, put videos that fast. I have a feeling maybe you know it it'd go against everything he stands for, but maybe he's having someone doing the editing for him. I don't know. That's what, that was my first thought when I because you showed me the videos last time we hung out. Yeah. And um, my first thought was like, God, oh, there's got to be a, like a team behind this. Like, what the fuck? But but he has a style though. Only he can do. You know. What does that mean? How do you know? Uh, you seen it, him do it. Is it editing style? I mean, I guess people can learn it. Um, I actually sure. made, so as I was saying, I bought this camera and I made a Casey Neistat impersonation video. Link in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marshall, put, work. <laughs> Marshall put the link in the description below. Oh, that's and, cool. I didn't know you did that. And yeah, it's like a pretty much first watch Casey's video and then watch mine and you'll say, oh, now I get it. What's, why Sonny's doing this. <laughs> but I made, I made a video uh, pretending to be Casey. That's cool. What yeah, do you do in the I'll video? I'll show it to you. I don't want to see it. I can't show it to you. I mean, I can't tell you. you can't you tell me? You just have to watch it. Yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm not going to. I, I can't tell you what it is. It's just me waking up and doing what I normally do. I wanted to do that in Joshua Tree, but my GoPro is dead. It was one of the saddest oh, moments really? the trip. Yeah, I thought it would be really It's actually fun. pretty fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. It's more fun when you're making fun of somebody else, like with in, like intentions to make fun of someone else. Makes it easier. Yeah. It's a little less <laughs> douchey. Don't worry, link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you say the name of the video because I don't have to link it. It's called, he, he never, uh, so like, <laughs> 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 so every single one of Casey's videos is just like, uh, his. the title is like, oh my God, I never knew she did it. Mm. Exclamation mark. So my, 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 my title is, he never knew why. <laughs> Exclamation mark. And then in the link, in the, in the description I wrote, um, in parentheses, I'm not really Casey Neistat. So, just so people know. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Neistat, the white man. Yeah. People might confuse you guys. Yeah, he actually looks like he has Down syndrome, by the way. Yeah? yeah. I mean, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> some say it's actually a, a, some say it's a beautiful advantage. thing. Yeah, <laughs> some would say it's beautiful. You know the moment I wish I had a GoPro for uh, in Joshua Tree? This is a moment that I still don't believe. When we're hiking, we're hiking for hours, right? Yeah. We literally just went up, went up a hill, 
and as hills do, there's another hill behind it, and it's desert, so we're stacking rocks, uh -huh. and like Rex is over there, and I'd run over to my own peak and stack rocks, <laughs> and just going, you know how it goes. And then we're walking, and it's talking about what ro rocks look like. Hey, a green one. Hey, this one looks like a dolphin. And I go, Rex, a turtle. Uh -huh. And he thought I meant a rock. It's a fucking turtle at the top of this mountain. Oh shit! Like just chilling. <laughs> like just like I guess tortoise is the proper term. He's not. He's not by the ocean. He's a tortoise. Right. Just going so slowly. We thought it was like because it's a popular thing in the desert now, which uh -huh. is like bronze animal statues. Like when you drive out to the desert, they're on the side of the road. It looks really cool. I had no right? idea. Yeah, and so like um, I thought it was one of them. So I threw water at him, and then uh, we prayed, and now he is our god. And we built up a shrine. Really? And so now we'd like to smoke this joint in honor of El Gran Tortuga. I never knew there was God. Yeah, his name's uh, El Gran Tortuga. He lives across the street from Joshua Tree. <clears throat> we should sacrifice something for him. Okay. <clears throat> How about your virginity? Nah. <laughs> Keeping that? I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to hmm. keep that one for the fish. This what? thing's not really lighting too much. It is. Alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say it, that as it catches on it, fire. It very much is. <laughs> Sonny, uh, you know what I haven't done in a while, though, that we used to do together? What? Dubstep shows. I haven't been to any electronic show oh, in yeah. years. Yeah, me either. I've seen your eyes. You forgot we used to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like I forgot every story I tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, we have not. And... I'm not really planning on doing it anytime <laughs> soon. <laughs> I don't know about you. I, I was thinking I should go. Like, it does sound fun. Like, if we go on, like, a Saturday, now that I'm a working man, I can't just go. Because I went to a drum and bass show in San Diego, and that was awesome. Oh, really? Uh, Who was it? Uh, Aphrodite is the DJ. He's from England. Okay. First time in America. Okay. It was cool. But nice. this is the thing we used to do all the time. All the time. How many times did we see Rusko? We did. 60? I saw him at least eight to ten times That's in, what I'm in, like, a couple of years. Those he's always like, around. He's playing in L.A. soon again. Back-to-back -back with Caspa. Is he really? <laughs> yeah. I think we should go. That's what I'm saying. I think that might be a good idea. I don't know. It's a Friday night, man. I don't know if I can stay alive. That's literally the, the oldest man, old manist thought I've had in a long time. You just said it's Friday night? It's a Friday night, not a coming one. No, it's, it's going to be on a Friday night. Yeah. And you don't know if you want to, you don't want to go? I don't know if I can stay up. Because you went to work all day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, man. I'm going to sleep like as soon as we finish recording. Oh, my God. You're lazy. Dying. Mom. Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if I go, man. Jiu-Jitsu Saturday morning. Oh, know. okay. Yeah, you Okay, you do that healthy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot you're, like, super healthy. I do a lot of healthy things. Yeah. Are you so healthy all the time? Helps Jiu-Jitsu. It's just, like, do you still eat, like, um, is it, like, a diet you have to follow? You don't have to, but it kind of, like, works out so that everyone into it gets on a diet. Okay. Just because, like, if I'm eating, if I eat badly tonight, yeah. tomorrow is going to be harder. I see. You know, it just kind of works itself out. Yeah. You don't have to be on a diet. There's no rules. I figure you can't really do that kind of stuff unless you eat healthy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Or you do, you do, shil you do sh shittily. Like, shittily. I'm sure, like, I'm, like, running a marathon or something similar. Mm. You know? Oh, I started. It's just a hard activity. That's one thing I started doing: running, marathons. Not marathons. <laughs> <laughs> I've been running. I've been running. Starting to run. It sounds so boring. In the morning. No, it's good. Because I'm Casey Neistat. I just go for a run. Yeah. You film yourself <laughs> yeah. running. Uh, How'd you film yourself with this camera? though? it's so big. He uses mean? GoPros, right? No, that's a selfie stick. That's his selfie stick, the tripod. Yeah. He uses that. He curdles those together and holds it like that. A selfie stick, right? With that camera, mm -hmm. he he uses uh, instead of like a small GoPro, like normal people. Yeah, he uses uh, like a thousands of dollars worth of can like camera to film himself uh, for see. a vlog. Yeah, this is like five like like five inches in front of his face. That's um, like a like a hard position to hold. I'm sure. No, it's really not. It's not. I'll the show you in light? a second. Yeah, I could show you. I could show you. Don't do it though. All right, I'm not gonna show you. Not on my podcast. All right. Um, but anyways, well, I was going to tell you something, now I forgot. Yeah. All right, well, it's a good moment. Yeah, it's a good place to end the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh that's pretty much the meaning of the podcast. It's right. gone nowhere. Thanks.
Thanks to anyone who's listening. Appreciate it. Send Sonny a message. Uh, he's not on Facebook, but um, what's your email? Rapistfunny.com? Uh, Sonny637. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Send Sonny a friend request via email. He wants to be your friend. Um, watch his video. Yeah, watch my video. I got, I almost have five, I got five views today. Time that the podcast is like 45 minutes. Yeah. That's usually just because I run out of things to say. But since you're so talkative, I think we can go um, just until you run out. Welcome to Lies by Marshall's <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go to the gym today. And I went to the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lies by Marshall Stamper. Oh, Marshall, tell me, what was your first lie? First lie I ever told. Um, when I was born, I told the nurse I have a nine-inch cock. She didn't believe me at the time, 